Hi, everybody. Hey, this is Daryl Terrell, the name you know. As you know, I'm running for mayor of the city of Reno Valley. You know, here's something I've been thinking about. You've read some of the headlines from, from, from my city about city managers getting paid exorbitant amount of money, getting golden parachutes, and, and you ask yourself, how is this possible? You have to look to the city council. Because the city council can do something about this. And as mayor, I will do something about it. Because a city manager should not be getting paid more than the governor of our state. And, and if you look back at Henry Garcia, you got Michelle Dawson, you look at uh, the latest person, Tom DeSantis, and you look at Mike Lee, they all get paid more than the governor of our state. So you ask yourself, the governor has a lot of things on his plate, or, or on his plate, and he administers to the the the, uh, the fifth largest economy. Now, now to compare that to 40 million people, to compare to our city, 200 some thousand people. Then you ask yourself, why are we paying so much money? to these city managers and, the, and their subordinates that get paid a lot of more money than than our governor and he got a lot of more responsibility. Not saying that the city manager doesn't have a lot of responsibility and that city manager should get paid uh, what he, they, they should get paid because they do have a lot of responsibility. But also, but at the same time, as a city, as a city council, we need to put a cap on that. And so as mayor, I would, I would introduce two options to you guys. One, to cap the amount of money a city manager and other city executives could be compensated. Under California Government Code Section 36506, the city council is authorized to determine the salary of the city manager and other such employees by resolution or ordinance. Okay, saying that, under that authority, as mayor of the city, I will introduce an ordinance to limit our city manager and other executive employees' compensation to that of the governor of our state. If one hundred, uh, if two hundred ten thousand dollars is significant to run an entire state, then it's certainly significant enough to run our city. Secondly, I will introduce an ordinance that limit the compensation of the city manager and his or her direct reports, excluding the police and other emergency public safety personnel to 2.5 times the medium family household income of our city, including both salary and benefits. Now that that's a fair deal, don't, don't you think so? That's how you cap these absorbent salaries. The city council has the power to do that. Now the question is, and some people will say, oh, well, what if you can't get three votes? This will happen one way or the other. Either the council passes this, or I will put it on the ballot so you, the people, can vote on it. Because you deserve that. And like I said, to have someone been paying, like some of the city managers, $400,000, $300,000. These are base salaries I'm talking about. I'm not talking about all the benefits. These are base salaries, $300,000, $400,000. That has to stop. Because a lot of you right now are maybe out of work. Again, your hours being cut, you're living paycheck to paycheck, and these folks are living high off the hog while you are suffering. And I think even beyond this, this was going on. So we have to do something about it. And then as your mayor, I will do that. As again, I will I will put forth two ordinances that will cap city managers' salaries. And that's the fair thing to do for you, for the people in this great city. Because I think, as I said before, if a governor gets paid $210,000 to, to, to run the state, then by God, that should be enough for, you, for our city manager to run our city. This is Daryl Terrell. Thank you for listening.